skin no longer feels like home for me. This skin, it no longer feels like a safe place. This skin that covers my body, my arms, my hands, my feet, my face. It seems to reflect more about my insecurities than it does seem to reflect about me. This skin no longer feels like home for me. It used to be mine, it used to be fine, it used to tell me everything was all right, but now, it seems to mark some unholy trinity. All that I know, all that you see, and always being responsible for all of those who came before me, this skin, seems to hold in all two of my consciousness and I'm all too unconscious of how you view everything that is about me before you even got to know underneath what it is so that is why this skin it doesn't feel comfortable anymore it doesn't feel like a place that I want to live it seems to mark me with all sorts of danger before you even found the truth, the love, or even the proof, this skin.
for us. The line between life and death is written in the melanin of our skin. That is why we inhale the institutions of our history. We, a generation drowning in blue and red lights, blue and red stripes, blue and stars white. I too sing America, but the tune is never right. The baseline shouldn't be bodies lying on concrete in the same way that we shouldn't be receiving size 808 boots to the midsection of a kick drum. The trouble shouldn't be a man who fits the description like trouble. Shouldn't be an ill-tempered officer who is simply having a bad day. That is why we understand brutality in this country is becoming a pop song. I mean, we are the victims of pop pop songs. Ever since they stole the power of our drums through the powder of guns, we've been exploited for our rhythm and then made subject to harassment by their blues. So whenever we hear the beat drop, we rock with both hands in the air. Surrender has never been more dangerous. The tempo has never been changing us. And this skin is no longer able to feel the difference between pain and rage. There are days when I no longer hear the sound of America against the whistling of the trees. There are moments when I feel like a foreigner on the same earth I was conceived of. I dream love, then wake up to anchors who only preach ideologies of institution, rage, and entertainment, and hate. They say you are nobody until somebody kills you. So we black dead man walking, waiting for someone else to make a name for us. So we black zombies with beating hearts and stretched arms. We black stars in midnight sky. We are violent in our combustion. We are reckless in our chaos against the structure of gravity. We do not die. We simply fade back into the invisible, hoping someone could wish they may, wish they might, wish their way for black boys to fly.